Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at the SH Figure Arts Kenny Kuman Terry Man figure, which is a character I had never heard of prior to looking at this one. So I, I can't really tell you anything about him fictionally, other than he's part of the Kenny Kuman, I guess, Ultimate Muscle Wrestling universe. It's a very similar figure to the Kenny Kuman figure, so we're not going to spend a whole lot of time on it, but it is relatively unique. So let's go ahead and get him off the stand and take a closer look. This guy stands just about 15 and a half centimeters, which makes him roughly six inches. And I'll post some photos at the end so you guys can see how similar he is to the to the Kenny Kuman figure. But he does have a lot of unique parts to him, so that's kind of cool. And as you can see, the paint job is really good. Yes, he's particularly pale and pasty looking, but they did a really good job matching the shading to the skin tone. It's slightly warmer in terms of the color and it's obviously a little bit darker in terms of the shading so that's really cool i do wish they would have done some on the back though they seem to have totally missed that which makes it look a little bit weird but the front is just covered with it it looks really really nice they did a good job painting the stars throughout the figure and then also on the straps for the boots looks very very nice so super happy about that uh, as far as the sculpt goes, it looks pretty solid everywhere, except they seem to have... I thought at first it was his neck was too short, but looking at it more, it looks to me like they just made his traps really weird, so... I think that's actually the issue. Maybe a little bit of both. A little bit more neck, a little bit less trap, and he would have been okay. But he does look pretty weird as he is, so that's kind of unfortunate. As far as accessories go, we have three different heads. The one neutral head that comes on him in the package, one where his teeth are showing, and then one where he's yelling. We only have a total of four hands, two fist hands, and then two hinged kind of relaxed slash gripping hands. And then lastly, we have a little dog, whatever, whatever that has to do with anything. We have that. And then as far as the articulation goes on this guy, it's the same style as the other figures from the line, so it won't take too long to show you. But we have a ball peg for the head. It's technically a double ball peg. Ball peg for the neck, so pretty good range there. Not the best in the world because these are fairly basic figures at a lower price point, but they're solid. We have a really, really nice butterfly joint coming out of that torso there. It's actually on a ball peg, so it'll move around a little bit. But then you also have the ball peg for the shoulder itself in there. And you can tuck that in and raise that up, so that's really good range. And you can bring the arm across the chest pretty far. So that's nice. Uh, of course, you get, you get full rotation there. You do have a little bit of a bicep swivel at the shoulder, but you also get the rest down here at your elbow. So you can, you can rotate the arm pretty nicely. And the elbow is a double-jointed elbow. Still a very ugly joint. I don't know why they don't hide that somehow better. I think they can figure it out if they really wanted to. They just need to try. And then for the wrists, we have a ball hinge, which works nicely. Really good range all the way around. For the torso, it's a combination of ball pegs, and you can lean him back really far without too much gapping, so that's really good. Leaning him forward, be careful, you have to tuck the abs into the underwear. Uh, it's not the best going forward, but it's definitely really good, so I like that. And then side to side works just well enough. It's not great. Full rotation, no problem there. For the hips, we have that ball peg thigh swivel, so that works into bringing the legs forward. So that works nicely. You do also have that hinged ball peg, which lets you drop the leg and then bring it forward. So pretty good. Not the best we've seen. We've seen some figures with incredibly good range, but that's still pretty solid. And they do go back a little bit. And then going out to the side, you basically get full splits. So really, really good range out of the hips. The knees are a little bit better than Kenny Kuman. They're still fairly ugly, though. But double-jointed knees. And then for the ankles, it's basically the same design again. Really good range going side to side for the ankle rocker. A little bit better going forward on this guy. Well, that one doesn't want to do it. This one goes a little bit farther. So a little bit better on this side, not so much on that side, and then all the way back. So they're not perfect figures by any means, but for what they are, they are really well executed. And I think if you're a Kenny Kuman fan, then you should probably pick them up. Or if you're just a fan of pretty cool figures, you know, this might be. It's not the coolest character design, but the figure is pretty darn good. So I'm going to go ahead and recommend it. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I have new videos up every single day. We talk about action figures, movies, TV shows, video games, all kinds of fun stuff. So make sure you come back for that. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And in the meantime, keep collecting.